Hey TD Superheroes, I'm Alejandro Perez, your psychic, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Maya's Python interface. So, if we want to be able to get access to our scripting window, we can go to Windows, General Editors, and we have the script editor in here. And this is some old code I was playing around with, so let's clear all that. But this is the window that will pop up. Typically you have a mail and a Python window. I've been using it while, so I just only have the Python. But if you don't have the Python tab, just click on the plus and you get a choice of Python, mail, or cancel. So let's do a Python tab. And then now that we have that, we have the script editor. This is where Maya has a built-in script editor for us where we can type in information and code. Then on the top here is a history of what's going on in Maya. So if I were to create something like a sphere, you can see the code that it took to create that sphere. And for us in Python, unfortunately, this is all in Mel. And there's no way to switch it at this point, but we get to see the code that was taken to create the object in the scene, which is a good starting point for creating something for us in Python, because the command is the you typically the same, and you can use that as a starting point once you know the structure of Python commands. Along the top, just really quick, we can clear the history of the top, we can clear the history of the bottom, so I didn't have anything typed in. But if you click this button, you, you can clear everything. If you want to clear both at the same time, you can clear that. This section of buttons here are nice because you can show either the history or your script editor, or you could show both. Sometimes if I don't need to see the history, I do like to jump over this. Or if I'm kind of digging through to find an error and what's going on. I might go over on this view with the history only, but typically I'm using both. A lot of times what I do is just scooch this over over here. Then we can kind of skip a couple. Echo all commands is pretty good. We'll look at that later because in the history, not all the commands are ever being shown, but if you turn on echo all commands, you will see everything that is being executed by Maya, but it can get overwhelming, like too much information. So sometimes it's good just to have the bare minimum. This is to show the line numbers. So right now I have a one on the side here, and if I click on it, I don't have any line numbers. So I like to work with the line numbers on. It helps me be able to keep my code organized. Then I have execute all and just execute. So those are different ways you can execute your command down on the bottom. Also, if you wanted to, you can highlight your code, push enter on the numeric keypad and that will run it. Typically that's the way I'm going to run it. So if you don't see me click anything up here, that's because I've ran it by pushing enter on the numeric keypad. You could search for something in the code, then search up, search down, and then this is going to a specific line, and then that's going to the input field for that, and then go to there. So let's write our very first code. So the typical first line of code that we'll do with any scripting language that you're doing is hello world and just getting that to execute a print function. So here what I'm doing is middle mouse button clicking and getting that to be much bigger. If I hold control, middle mouse button scroll, I can make this bigger and smaller. So I typically will make this bigger for you guys to see it, but sometimes when you're coding, it's a little bit easier to have just a smaller code so that it fits all in the screen. Okay, so let's run this code and I'm going to push enter and run it and you'll see that it disappears when I do that. So here you go. And it disappeared, but let me put my cursor here on the top and control middle mouse button scroll to make it bigger. You can see it executed the command 
hello world, then we have the output of what it did, which just gives us the words hello world at this point. So that's how you do that. Let me go to the script editor and do control Z and that'll bring that back. If you want to make sure that this doesn't disappear, you can highlight it and then push enter on the numeric keypad. And you'll see that it executes again and we have hello world here. So that is useful. So that way you don't lose your code. You can just, and have to push undo, you can do that. Again, like I said, you can execute all and it will run the code. So if we look at this here, you could see did it a third time. Then if we did execute, it does the same way. Like when we pushed enter, it makes your code disappear. So typically you're going to want to do the execute all but if you're doing something that just needs to be ran a single line like that really quick, you can just do the execute and it will disappear. Okay, one more thing that will be helpful for you guys to know with the Python code right now is that you can go to the Python command reference and this will pop up all the commands that are available from Maya's library of how to do things inside of the Python coding interface inside of Maya. So we have things organized on the top by category. We have everything alphabetically down here and you can actually search for something. So if you needed like a polysphere, you can see that we get polysphere here. We can click on it. It gives us a description of the code the different flags that way you can do and an example code that you can copy and paste into your script editor and execute to see kind of what their example is actually doing. We'll go into the more detail throughout the series, but I just wanted to give you guys a kind of little intro guide here of the interface and kind of how to get a little bit more help if you needed to. That is it. I hope you found it useful. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.